In today's video, we'll be removing the fairing and the front forks. When you're taking these gauges out, you definitely want a 7 millimeter wrench to hold the stud. If you don't hold the stud with a wrench, it will unscrew right from the gauge. So your best bet is disconnect this wire, take out the light, and that gives you plenty of room to get in there and hold that with the wrench while you take off the nut.
we have to remove the clutch cable from the clutch handle to get this pin out and this clutch lever and all that I need to take off the the mount for my cell phone now we can remove this pin before we go any further we have to release the slack on the cable so in other words we're gonna loosen the cable basically all I'm doing here is pretty much screwing this all the way in so the cable has all that play you can't see this but in here there's a groove and that cable is going to slide right through that groove just like that and then slide the handle out pop that pin out and then the handle comes off now we have to slide the cable to the fan there we go last thing we need to do to remove that fairing is disconnect the throttle cables and there's one screw right here that we need to loosen I'll take out completely and this cover comes off This one's not in bad shape. I gotta assume these are originals of the bike. It's got about 80,000 miles on it now. This one's not still okay, but this one, it's frayed. So I'm gonna end up replacing both of these. Let's slide the cables out. Let's slide the other one out. I almost forgot the uh, odometer reset button all you do is you unscrew this piece there we go so what a mess I don't think I'm gonna be able to put this bike back together what a mess oh my god what this wire on it's just hanging it for real okay it's a bolt right here we have to loosen up and then we got to take the cap off These should slide right out. And we loosen that bolt that holds the uh, clock in. corrosion in there. Next we're going to take off these covers. Take out the electrical switches. strip this stuff and get ready for paint. These are all sanded ready to go. This one has a little bit of a dent in it. I'll uh, try to put it where it's in the back. I, mean, I could bondo this and sand it out but I don't think I'm going to do that. I think once it's on the bike, this is towards this 
back side of the bike. You won't see that anyways. Let's go ahead and wipe it all down. that second coat of stripper to take it effect I'm going to put the air filter back on since it's been clean and it's ready to go I'd say we had a productive day today in the shop. We got the interfering off, took all this stuff off to get the interfering off, and we finally got the front forks off. We were able to strip the console cover, sand it down, get it ready for paint. On the next video, we're going to strip that interfering, sand it, get it ready for paint, and if we have time, we're going to rip apart those forks and get those prepped and ready for paint. If you like what I'm doing here and you want to follow along, I made a playlist for this series here, the Holly Makeover playlist. God bless. I'll catch you on the next one.